Neil Sharpton here at the Branded Barrel, supposed to be one of the largest bottle shops in Georgia. They boast to have the largest beer cooler in Georgia, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. It's cruising for a bruising. It's like, who are you? It's beer drink. Far so good. This place looks dope. Just want to see what I came here for, which is the craft beer section. Yeah, this is a big cooler, so they're not lying about that. Craft beer selection is on Smash over here. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. But what we're looking for is the Alpha Extraction Season 6. <laughs> this is what I'm looking for today. One being um, Wild Leap Alpha Extraction Volume 6 and also Sweetwater Brewery's God Beer. I haven't been able to find God Beer anywhere and this shit's supposed to have been out for over a month. What the hell? Oh, they got it. God beer. I've been looking for it for a minute. I'm getting that. Got another one, so. Oh, just record. Oh no, you good? You good? <laughs> the branded barrel definitely didn't disappoint because they're the first place that actually had God beer in stock. So I grabbed me a 12 pack of that. Can't wait to taste that and review it. The beer selection here is crazy, crazy. I tell you, Jerry. Crazy, I tell you, Jerry. Once again, guys. Once again, guys. Kel Sharpie cruising for a bruising. Beers, craft. Beer, don't drink regular beers because if you drink regular beer, you're not good. Only drink stuff is $18 for a four pack and. We're out of here. <laughs> Alright, hold it. Dude, this is gonna rip. I gotta go get another one now. <laughs> Damaging property. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Branded barrel is fire. I love this place. Whenever in Duluth. Definitely, definitely come out to the brand of beer if you're trying to get some craft beer in your stomach. They'll have what you want, but today they didn't have my Wild Leap uh, Alpha Extraction, extra, Alpha Extraction Volume Six, but it's all good because I finally came across my Georgia God beer. Beer review coming tonight. Oh God. So there you have it folks, the Branded Barrel out here in Duluth, Lawrence, Lawrenceville, Georgia. Definitely top three bottle shops that I've been to. Other than, damn what was that shit the other day? Damn it, I forget, I'll put it in the thing. 
If you need your if you need your craft beer, go over go over there. It's a fight about to break out. So I finally found Sweetwater God Beer over there at the Branded Barrel, but they didn't have Wild Leap Alpha Extraction Volume 6 there. I don't know if they sold out or just didn't get it yet, so we had to go down to Total Wine. Hopefully we have, hopefully Total Wine has. I hope they don't have, I hope they don't, I hope they don't, I, don't, I hope they don't have your Wild Leap Alpha Extraction Volume 6 because I wish the worst for you. I hope you don't have, I hope they don't have it because that's mainly what she wants. Oh, they got it? God damn it. Hmm. You won't want to be in the beer video. <laughs> she don't like being in my beer videos. That's why I kind of with you it's beer drink with another craft beer review i finally found it as you saw in my vlog earlier georgia not georgia but truthfully i can say georgia because when you think of georgia and craft beer it's synonymous sweetwater brewery the premier craft beer brewery in the united states luckily and i and i say luckily not you know i'm not gonna say luckily happily i am <laughs> Living in Atlanta, Georgia, we get a lot of good beer coming out. We have Wild Leap. We have Sweetwater, which are the OGs, Orpheus. A crazy amount, Scofflaw. Scofflaw is my favorite Georgia brewery. Pour that bitch. Man, I got definitely golden. Bubble streaming up with like the scent. Ooh, I got to stop a little bit because this is 16 ounces. That's another thing. And that's the only thing that I didn't like. 1899s. I've been looking for it for so long and I finally found it. But 1899 for the 12 pack. Shit, you got people fucking or breweries putting out beers for fucking 1899 for a fucking four pack. Nose hits. Like, you, you ever got punched in the nose and smelled strawberries? <laughs> I have knows but that's another story you don't get much from this beer as far as like off the um nose anyone that's not a craft beer drinker this can be their gateway to craft to craft beer drinking crisp this is crisp refreshing i may be tripping this is lighter than that this is a this is a lighter tasting beer than miller light there's a bit more flavor in god beer than there is in miller light and that's not saying much because Miller Lite is my go-to beer. Shout out to the sponsors just for the fact that it's something light. And you can throw back 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 28. And you don't have a heaviness on the stomach. Uh. Overly done with a certain taste. Uh. And you can just throw them, throw them back. A sessionable beer. This beer could seriously be my go-to beer from now on. everyday beer this shit is fucking delicious it's almost genius to put out a beer in the craft beer market like this for the fact that you're kind of tackling people that don't want all the flavor a craft beer like something pretty much there the, the i'll put it this way yeah if it's like sweet water's telling y'all niggas keep fucking with us nigga It's beer drink, another craft beer review. I hope you all enjoy. Who are you?